In this proof of concept video, a local privilege escalation attack exploiting a security vulnerability in the Razer Synapse software for Windows is demonstrated. Due to the use of an insecure installation path and improper privilege management, the installation of the associated Razer system service is vulnerable to a so-called DLL hijacking attack. In this specific attack scenario, an attacker is able to replace a program library that is a dynamic link library file with one that contains malicious code. Because of the high privilege context in which the attacker controlled code is executed, a local Windows user can exploit this security issue to obtain local administrative privileges. This security vulnerability described in our Sys Security Advisory, Sys 2021-58, was found by our IT security expert, Dr. Oliver Schwarz, and reported to Razer in October 2021. In this demo setup, the attacker is logged in as a low-privileged standard Windows user named Standard. By executing our developed PowerShell exploit script, a specific directory, that is C program data Razer Synapse 3 service, that will later be used by the Razer installer is created. As the attacker created this directory, he is its owner and can change the corresponding file system permissions. For instance, in this attack scenario, write access to this directory for the administrative Windows user account system is denied. When the first stage of the exploit is completed, the attacker attaches a real or fake Razer USB device with corresponding vendor and device IDs to the system that is supported by the Razer Synapse software. In the default Windows configuration, the Razer installer will be automatically executed in the context of the privileged Windows account system when a supported Razer USB device is attached. The attacker starts the actual software installation via the presented graphical user interface. The selected components of Razer Synapse are then downloaded via the target system's internet connection and installed. After the successful software installation, access to the previously created directory is not possible anymore as its permissions have been changed by the Razer installation process. But the attacker can now run the second stage of our exploit script, which is able to set new permissions for the Razer Synapse installation directory, as the low-privileged Windows user standard is still its owner. Furthermore, the exploit script copies a modified bin folder, which also contains a DLL with malicious code, to the Razer Synapse installation directory. This malicious code is executed when the installed Razer Synapse service is started, for instance, on every system boot. In this demo attack, the code of the malicious DLL creates a Windows user account named SysRazerDLL with local administrative privileges. Razer has fixed the corresponding security vulnerability so that this demonstrated privilege escalation attack is not successful anymore on current Windows systems with newer Razer Synapse software versions. As a general security measure, Sys recommends disabling Windows code driver auto installations via the corresponding configured Windows registry value, disable co-installers, set to 1. 